I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing a lovely pride flag. So grab your favorite art making mediums and let's make some art. Teachers, don't forget that you can find all my fully planned and engaging art lessons in my TPT store. Simply search Ms. Artastic on TPT. All right, we're gonna begin our flag. We're gonna first be drawing our rectangles. We're gonna draw one line across, two lines down, and we're gonna connect the bottom end. And if it's not a perfect rectangle, that's okay, as a flag is waving in the wind anyway. Next, we're gonna be drawing a side, two diagonal lines, so to create a sideways triangle. So we're gonna draw one line in to about the halfway mark, and then bring it back out in a diagonal. Next, we're gonna be adding some stripes. So first, we're gonna be doing a black stripe, so this will be black. Next, we'll add another stripe for the brown stripe. We'll draw a stripe for the blue one, and one more, and that will be for pink and white. So it's going to go white, pink, blue, white, pink, blue, brown, black. Perfect. We're gonna draw one line across from that point, just across. Next, we're gonna divide this section up into three sections by adding two lines, so we're gonna have red, orange, yellow. Then two more lines at the bottom for green, blue, and purple. Perfect. All right, next we're gonna draw a face on our flag. So somewhere in the middle, we're gonna draw one eye on one side. So one circle on one side, one circle on the other side. In each circle, draw one big circle and a small circle. Color in the dark of the eyes with your black. Between the eyes, we're gonna draw one big long line for the mouth and it's okay if there's another line between because we're gonna color most of it black anyway. Connect the mouth with a U shape. Draw a curving tongue on the inside. And then we're gonna draw the dark of the mouth with our black. lines around the eyes for suppression. Next we're gonna take a marker, a thick black marker. We're gonna go around the outside of our flag with our black to thicken up our lines and make it stand out on our page. Next, we're gonna take our same marker and we're gonna draw little arms on our flakes. So we're gonna draw two arms going down, one arm up, one arm in, little fingers curving out on this side. And then on this side, we're actually gonna have the fingers wrap down a bit because this flag is going to be holding a flag. So we're gonna draw the post. And we'll come back to the legs in a second. We're gonna draw a smaller rectangle. And then we're gonna go red, orange, 
yellow, green, blue, and purple. All right, so our contemporary or modern reboot of our LGBTQ2 plus um, flake is gonna be holding the original design. All right, finally, we're gonna draw some legs for our flake and our little feet, just like that. Once you're done, you can go ahead and we're gonna start off with this new part on the flag. We're gonna grab a brown and our black. We're gonna start off with the black. We're gonna color this first stripe black. brown. Next we're going to find our blue. So you can grab your blue. We're going to find a nice pastel blue. And then we're going to color the nice next stripe with our blue. Then a baby pink, and that last little triangle will be white. Beautiful. I'm also gonna use this pink to color in the mouth, the legs, and feet. But you can do your legs in whatever style you would like. All right, next we're gonna grab our red, and we're gonna start off the rainbow here. So our first color is going to be red. And we're gonna use it across, the, we're gonna do the same colors here and here, okay? So red. Then yellow. Green. Perfect. And, oh, gotta do this flag as well. Perfect. And once you're done, your lovely flag, perfect for Pride Month and any other Pride celebrations, is done. Teacher, if you 
are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher Store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at mizartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.